Hey guys, this is Ben with Fixed Roofing. I am here with John Feed, and he is our representative with Attic Breeze, and we're here to talk to him today about all things yeah. Attic, Attic Breeze. Breeze. Outstanding. John, just tell me a little bit about yourself um, and how long you've been doing this with Attic Breeze. My name's John. I've been with Attic Breeze going on four years now. I've been in the roofing industry for like the last 30, doing multiple different things. That's a long from, time. From distribution, manufacturing, even working on the contractor side, just like yourself, Ben. Nice. Excellent. That actually helps a lot. Absolutely. Probably gonna, you're going to get a lot of questions. So I'm a, home, I'm a homeowner, and I just got a new Attic Breeze with my roofing contractor. Congratulations. I'm really excited because I think it's going to be energy efficient. But how do I know day to day that this thing is running? Well, most of the time they're so quiet that you can't hear them running. So a lot of our contractors will take a video before they come down and show the homeowners the video. That's really, other than getting some extra products that we can see it wirelessly that the, the fan's even running, you take a video of it. That's how quiet they're, they're meant to be quiet because we don't want it having a bunch of racket inside yeah. the house for the homeowners. So they're going, hey, my attic fan's making a bunch of noise. Yes. And on the flip side of that, I have had a lot of good feedback about homeowners who know it's running and who love that it's so quiet. Absolutely. Um, they, and they can also feel that their HVAC is working less um, strenuously to cool down the air it on its way to them. Probably doesn't kick on as much getting that hot air out of that attic. Yeah. You know, and that's the biggest key. So the air conditioner will work better. The shingles will last longer. The duct work. All of it works better all the way around getting that hot air out of the air. Yeah, for sure. All right, so um, I have a I have a decent sized tile house, you know, tile roof home. It's about 4,500 square feet. How many do you think that I need on that? Roof? Well, I mean, we can go off with square footage just to do a, a basic quick measurement. Like if you guys are walking up to it, we have on our website at atticbreeze.net, we have a design studio that you can plug in 4,500 square foot Here's the pitch, and it'll tell you exactly how many fans you need on our on our design awesome. studio. But our square footage, if you look on the brochures, each fan, like a 35 watt fan, will, one fan will do 2,850 square feet. So mm -hmm. you know that going into it. Well, if one fan does about 3,000, and I got 4,500, I'll need at least two fans. At least two. So okay. So now I know I need two. The my roofing contractor is going to put on two. How far away should they be so there's not cross ventilation? There should be a, they should be 10 feet apart from the fans. That's it. it, it yes, absolutely. It, 10 feet away from another fan, mm -hmm. five to seven feet away from passive ventilation. So if he has ridge vent, you would have to put the fan down five or six feet away from the ridge vent for it to work. Got it. To get it to work properly, so we, we get the best benefit from. But it. maximum result would be no no other passive ventilation. I would not. All that heat coming to the top and going through let, these. Let go through the let it go yeah. through the fans. Um, I do want you to feature the remote. I think it's a good product. I just tell me a little bit about this. This I, is a breezemate system. It'll actually show you the temperature, humidity, and show you that the fan is working. It'll work up to 10 fans. It's a great little product. It's all wireless. So I think it's a, it's a great add-on. And for some of the more technological houses and people, they would like to see what their attic's actually doing. Yeah. So why don't you, the expert, tell me about your warranty? It's, it's a lifetime warranty. The lifetime warranty covers all the parts on the fan. So it covers the, the, the solar panel, the fan blade, the thermostat, and the motor. So it's a parts only warranty. So once the warranty is registered, you can go online and register the warranty. It takes about 10 seconds. They register, we send the homeowner a, war a email, it's warrantied. Once they have a problem, they'll call us and go, hey, something's wrong with it. They'll end up calling you because the parts, they'll get the parts sent right to them, their house, and have you guys install them every, every time. Like you said, another one of those things that you guys should do yourselves. Well, and, and the other thing, uh, to touch on what you talked about is the parts. So the fan blade is made of aluminum. Correct. And your competitor, one of them specifically that we know of, makes it out of plastic. Why, tell me why this is so superior to that. Well, it, with our fan, and there's a lot of competition that has degradable parts like plastic composites. And we all know what the heat does to plastic and composites when in the roof it just start 
degrading over time because of the heat. Ours being aluminum doesn't do that. It'll keep it'll keep 100% pressure all the time and keep the hot air out of the attic, and that's what we're trying to do. So this is an E-Star product, E-Star rated product, yes. but you get a, a tax credit for it. It's 30% um, off the installed price, so your installed number can go from that and work for the homeowner. It's SR or IRS form 5695 that you can put right in with your, your proposals and give that right to the homeowner when you're done. Excellent. That's fantastic. I like this for uh, the fact that you can do a lot of colors, can match the roof in a lot Correct. of different ways. You powder coat them, right? We do Customized. powder. They're all, they're all powder coated. So the powder coating is, is, a, is a better way of doing things, especially here in Florida. The paint doesn't fade like the, the powder coating will last. We don't have a salt water exclusion for the salt water air down here in Florida. We don't have any kind of spot welds like a lot of the other competition do. They spot weld them together. So we don't have the contraction and expansion. We use toggle locks. Toggle locks are basically pointing the metal in together and it kind of wrapping it around there. Hmm. So it doesn't, we don't, the welds won't break in the contraction and expansion that we have down here. Like, like, like we were saying, there's no degradable parts on this at all. It's all either stainless steel or aluminum hardware throughout the whole fan. It's all, all manufactured, put together right in Gatesville, Texas, which is just north of Waco, just on an hour and a half the other side of Austin, right there by Gatesville, which is the spur capital of the world, if you, you didn't know that. It's a professional grade fan and there's no, we don't cut any corners. It's a professional grade, hands down. Great. Well, that's all I have for today. Come back tomorrow for another experience with Ben and Cody. Ha, 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 ha.